So we're going to be talking about rod bearings. So as you may have seen, I've, I've had this M135i for probably about two years now. And in that time, I've come across quite a few N55s that have exploded or blown up due to rod bearings. And again, it just seems to be a thing with BMWs about, you know, needing, needing rod bearings. So couldn't really sleep very well at night, sometimes just getting worried about it and Anyway, I decided to, at the very least, check the rod bearings to see what they look like because although it's a big job, it's nowhere near as bad as replacing the engine. So anyway, I decided to have a look at the rod bearings. So I'll insert some photos here. I didn't film too much because I just really wanted to focus on the job because it is, it is a pretty big job. So drop the subframe, drop the sump, and from my research, rod bearing number six is generally the one that wears out the worst on these n55s i think it's probably because it's furthest away from the oil pump that generally seems to be the case so i removed the rod cap and then had a look and i'll insert the photo here and the rod bearing <laughs> the rod bearing was more or less completely fine it was it it definitely had some wear on it but it was nothing that bad so this car's done about 130,000 kilometers, which is about, what, 80 or 85,000 miles. And the rod bearings were fine. So, and I checked number six, which was, which is meant to be the worst one. And it was fine. So, so yeah, so do N55s need rod bearings? I don't think it's a common problem, but I think with any car that you drive aggressively that is not made for it, um, in the sense that it's it's a, it doesn't have a baffled sump it's only got a single pickup um the n55 it, that's in the m2 has got it has got the dual stage oil pickup so it's got it's got one conventional oil pickup and then it's got a scavenge pump as well which which is which sits at the rear of the sump so the normal one's here and then there's another one at the back pretty much and that's meant to be good for g-forces up to one and a half g in terms of maintaining oil pressure up to one and a half g so I haven't taken this track. I'm not sure if I will because I don't really want to, well, blow it up and it's, it's not really meant for it. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's that. But I just wanted to make this video to share my experiences because a lot of people seem to have big concerns and a lot of them are, there's a good reason to be concerned, but it all seems to be fine, at least on my particular car. And I'll continue to change the oil at probably half the interval that it's meant to like it's 20 i believe it's 22 or 25,000 like kilometers i'm not sure what that is in miles probably like um 12 or 15,000 miles so so yeah so in the meantime my my rod bearings are fine and yeah also i've started doing some merch this is a bit of a test run i've done um we're just we're just trying to find a good supplier and making sure that the quality is good um, and then I'll have to figure out a platform to sell it on. Um, so, so yeah, so we've got hats, hoodies, shorts, clocks, <laughs> all sorts of funny things to add to your home uh, decor. So, so anyway, I'll also insert some clips here of me installing the rod bearing as it's a pretty nerve wracking job. Oh, that was scary. All right, here comes the main event. I'm terrified to do this. 70 Newton meters, so 70 degrees, and then another 70 degrees. That's the left one. That's to the right one. You probably can't even see it. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus. All right, this is the second session. There's been a wasp it's been flying around here. Flew in my ear before, somehow it didn't bite me, sting me. Oh, well, if it comes back, you'll get, you'll get a first row seat. All right, so this is the second lot of 70 degrees, starting from the left-hand side. Oh, geez, that's tight. Well, I mean, it's good that it's tight, you know. It would be concerning if I did it and it wasn't tight, but... That's done. It's very exciting. Natural bolts are 20 Newton meters and then two lots of 70 degree angle, which feels really wrong, but they're stretch bolts. That's how they're meant to be. So anyway, there you go. Stay tuned for more.